Hello friends, in this video, we discussed football players who lost their strength when they left the team. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to support us. Enjoy watching! Our goalkeeper is Kasper Schmeichel. The legendary goalkeeper of Leicester ended his 11-year Premier League career two years ago. The Danish goalkeeper, the Lille team from France, transferred for 1 million euros. The 35-year-old Schmeichel had performed exceptionally well in his new team. In other words, the Danish goalkeeper continued his individual success seamlessly. However, after his departure, Leicester hit rock bottom. They collected 34 points and finished 18th in the Premier League. After his departure, Danny Ward took over the goal but conceded a whopping 68 goals in 38 matches. It's not a common situation to see a goalkeeper of a champion team facing such challenges in the Premier League. Losing Kasper Schmeichel was undoubtedly a disaster for Leicester. After that, they were relegated. The first centre-back is Rudiger. He was regarded as one of the best defenders in the world during his time at Chelsea. The Blues made a significant effort for a new contract, but Rudiger left the team for free and transferred to Real Madrid. Chelsea, after his departure, spent €118 million Euros to make two important reinforcements to the defence. However, they couldn't regain the Rudiger effect. Currently, they are in 10th place in the Premier League. They are not contenders for the championship but they have a very talented squad. A resurgence is expected under the leadership of Pochettino. However, winning the championship is very challenging for them. Another centre-back is Diego Carlos. Sevilla sold both of their first-choice centre-backs, Cundi and Diego Carlos, during the transfer window. Cundi and Diego Carlos were key figures in the successful campaign of that season. Selling both defenders at once is a very risky move. You disrupt the partnership and change the foundation. Sevilla couldn't fill the void left by Diego Carlos and Cundi. As of today, they are in 15th place in La Liga, trailing the leader by 14 points. It has become one of the worst season starts they have had in years. Another centre-back is Jules Kound. He was also a crucial part of Sevilla's defence. He left the team and transferred to Barcelona. Despite being one of the latest additions to the new team, he has received top marks so far. In the previous season, he played in a total of 40 matches. In the current season, he has not missed a single match. The first midfielder is Carlos Soler. He was one of Valencia's key players. Paris made a move to strengthen their midfield by adding him to the squad. Soler is also an important player for the Spanish national team. PSG paid 18 million euros for the 25-year-old player. Perhaps they didn't spend a lot of money but they once again demonstrated their strength on the last day of the transfer window. Solar played 35 matches last season and 11 matches this season so far, but he started most of them as a substitute. Despite the possibility of being a substitute, Solar chose to leave Valencia. They haven't had a good start to the league. The eighth position is not sufficient for Valencia. By the way, in the match they played against Real Madrid two days ago, everyone expected them to earn points. However, they conceded five goals and suffered a heavy defeat. Another midfielder is Amadou Onana. Everton's transfer from Lille quickly impressed with his good performances. He adapted easily to the Premier League and adding athleticism to his physical quality makes him a standout player. Everton paid €35 million Euros for the 22-year-old Onana. Whatever is a plus for Everton seems to be a minus for Lille. They couldn't fill the void left by Onana, and they are waiting for the January transfer window for potential reinforcements. Another midfielder, Frank Kessie, has also adapted well at Barcelona. He quickly demonstrated that he would play a significant role, and Barcelona put in a lot of effort to register Kessie in the league. As time passed, he played even better. Barcelona sold the player they acquired for free from Milan to Al Ali for a transfer fee of 13 million euros. Meanwhile, Milan continues to feel his absence even though two seasons have passed. They became champions in the season with Kessie, but in the season following his departure, they finished in fourth place. In the attacking midfielder position, there is Dybala. Juventus did not want to sign a new contract with him. Dybala waited for offers for months, but Juventus gave up on him. Before the new season, the Argentine star, who had his contract in hand, chose Roma. He stumbled in a couple of matches in Mourinho's team initially, but it's worth noting that he later recovered. Dybala played a total of 38 matches that season, scoring 18 goals and providing 7 assists. His relationship with Mourinho is very good and everything is going well. By the way, Roma finished the season one point ahead of Juventus. Juventus had a poor start and finished to the season they entered with great hopes. They played with two forwards in the season without Dybala but couldn't achieve the desired results. Perhaps with Dybala, things could have been different. 
On the left wing, there is Sadie O'Main. At the beginning of that year, he announced his desire to leave Liverpool. There was only one place he wanted to go for the transfer, and that was Bayern. After long negotiations, the Germans managed to complete Main's transfer. The initial offer was 20 million euros, which had been widely discussed on social media. However, Bayern paid 32 million euros for Main. Main wore the new team's jersey in 38 matches and scored 12 goals. The importance of Main was once again evident during the days when Liverpool stumbled. The team had gone through a rough patch, with a decline in every player except goalkeeper Alisson. We had mentioned before that Main was very humble and that money didn't change him. He continues to show that he is a wonderful person on the field. In Bayern, he unintentionally scored a goal using his hand. After scoring, he signaled to the assistant referee that he had scored with his hand. You might say, I could do that in a 7-0 win against Bochum. However, rest assured that Main would do the same in a critical match. These days, Main is wearing the Al Nasser jersey. On the right wing, there is Lionel Messi. After Messi left Barcelona, the team experienced a decline. In his last season at Barcelona, Messi was one of the positive aspects. Barcelona finished third in the league that season. Messi scored 38 goals and provided 12 assists while wearing the Barcelona jersey in that season. Despite his contributions, they finished behind Atletico Madrid and Real Madrid in the league. They were eliminated by PSG in the Champions League. In that season, they could only win the Spanish Copa del Rey. In the season following Messi's departure, Barcelona again couldn't become champions. This time, they lost it to Real Madrid. In the striker position, there is Robert Lewandowski. In that season, Bayern became champions in the Bundesliga by sheer luck on the final match day. This can be attributed to the impact of Lewandowski's departure. He had been their most significant weapon for years, and the entire game was built around him. Yes, they are still the team that scored the most goals and became champions in the Bundesliga. However, it doesn't mean they have filled the void left by Lewandowski. Last season, playing for Barcelona, Lewandowski scored 33 goals in 46 matches, continuing to make a difference. He provided the best response to those who claim that scoring in the Bundesliga for Bayern is too easy. By the way, his wife's influence played a significant role in his choice of Barcelona. His desire to live in Spain made the decision for a new adventure easier for Lewandowski. Bayern, on the other hand, filled Lewandowski's position with the transfer of Harry Kane. Yes, friends, we've come to the end of the video. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it. Also, you can write in the comments what content you would like to see in the next video. Goodbye.